and I just wanted to take a moment today. Um, I recently made a post about lymphatic skin brushing and uh, the importance of just, you know, skin brushing in the morning. Um, it's really, really dope. Really simple to do when incorporating your uh, machine. And uh, this is what it looks like. A lot of people were wondering, well, what's the skin brushing like? What kind should I get? Should it be uh, firm or soft? Of course, for me, I like them a little softer because you are brushing your skin. So, you know, you want to use it. For me, I do like using it every morning. Um, some mornings I miss, though, which is what you'll find, like life. So try to use it every other day. I use it a little more. I use it on myself. Um, Daddy uses it, but it's really important. Start from your feet all the way up your body. So you want to start from your legs and just slowly brush in upward strokes like so. Brush up. You're gonna just keep brushing up like so, up, 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 all up your skin, right? And this isn't something that you should have to show, but um, circular or clockwise. You want to always brush your stomach with clockwise motions, just for the circulation of your um, your intestinal tract. It's really good, even if you have uh, issues using the bathroom. Um, what's really great in the morning is to just sit on the toilet and Slightly massage your lower intestines and your stomach. Just touch points so that you can, you know, push and slow all the good stuff down. Same thing with your arms. You want to think of brushing upward, just like so. Don't forget to get your backside, you know, all that good stuff. Get all in here. When you get to your heart and your chest, brush outwards. All the energy is to brush upwards, excuse me, upwards and outwards. Keep brushing, brushing like this. Yeah. You can do that for like three minutes, four minutes a day in the morning, and you'll find that your skin is a lot more supple. You know, your skin is the largest organ in your body, and it's very difficult if you're not sweating, if you're not expelling a whole bunch of toxins. Um, we need to because it, it helps us, it helps our cells regenerate, keeps us young. So skin brushing, definitely incorporated. Um, I'm also going to take a minute to thank people that have been writing me so much about, you know, just certain things, certain questions that they have. Um, this week, uh, I would say Larry, I just wrote him, but I wanted to talk about what he had. He asked about issues in his prostate. What can he do? Um, there's a herb called saw palmetto. It's very, very, very good for men that have prostate issues, as well as white pond lily. Try getting that and infusing it in your water, you know, your tea, and uh, drink that twice a day. Um, Herbs are kind of finicky because they can be very powerful. Right, Amor? What if we don't get hungry? What if we don't drink in the morning? Okay. Well, he's been drinking little shots of apple cider vinegar. Um, they're really hard and horrible, but it's great to break up congestion and coughs and to um, keep you really lucid just like this. It's not that deep. Um, congestion and coughs. Uh, bronchial open so it's really really good for more to um, have a little shot he hates it but it's so necessary so we want to think of things like that um, also thank you um, another question that I was asked this week was how do I increase milk production um, if I'm breastfeeding and that's a really interesting question because a lot of women that I talk to especially in the size of the their milk production stops
share his thoughts, strawberries, bowls. Just keep yourself alertly high. Another question was a guy who suffers from some rotator cuff issues. And he's like, oh, what exercises? What can I do? That's very hard. The first thing I want to say is um, a lot of us don't take time to heal. This posture, for me, on my own. He's sitting like this, just squatting. Like this, right? It took me about eight years to do after knee surgery. I still have some pain if I don't stretch. Just touching my bottom to my, my heels took me so long to accomplish. So it takes a long time. I still, you know, feel it in my knee. Not my hips per se, but you know, your body adapts to injuries. So you want to take your time and allow yourself to heal. For people with rotator cuff issues, he shouldn't be doing heavy exercise. He shouldn't at all. He told me he's still boxing and he really enjoys it, but boxing doesn't really allow you to um, heal in your rotator cuffs. It's going to keep your muscles really strained. So you want to chill for a while with rotator cuff issues and do things to open up your shoulders. So a good exercise, just sit and reach your arms straight up in a 12 side.